Okay, what's up guys? Today we're going to be comparing these two different BMX bikes. This is a section from a longer video where I took 16 different bikes between the five and $600 price range and I ran them through a tournament style bracket. If you want to watch that longer video, that is right here. It's going to run through every single bike within this price range, more than just this video will. If you want to just know about these two bikes, I've got in-depth reviews about both of them in the description. You can check that out and learn more. I don't want you to buy the wrong bike. That's why I make all this helpful content for people to make sure you buy the right bike. And one of the things I do is a free bike recommendation. Click here to request a free bike recommendation. I'll look over your information and I will personally find three bikes that are perfect for you. These bikes will fit you, they'll be within your budget, and they will literally be perfect for you. It takes me about a day to do this, it takes me like, you know, 24 hours, so please be patient. Sometimes I can get it out quicker depending on how many recommendation requests I have at the time, but I'll get yours out as soon as possible. Just fill it out here so that I can start finding the right bikes for you. Enjoy this video and let me know in the comments which bikes I should compare next. Okay, the Colt Devotion and the Kink Switch. Both of these bikes come with pegs. Both of these bikes are close to the top of the price range and they're both some of my favorite bikes overall. When you look at quality, when you look at value, I love, 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 love both of these bikes and they show up on the free bike recommendations quite a bit. The Colt Devotion costs $569 while the Kink Switch costs $599. Like I said earlier, the Kink Switch is currently on sale and for the sale price, this is an incredible bike. For the full price, this is a great value. For $600, you're getting a great value. But for the sale price, you're getting just a mind-blowing value. It's insane. You should check it out and be like, whoa. I need this bike right now. It's probably sold out because, of, because that's how good the value is. The Kink Switch is going to get a point for weight, even though I'm pretty sure the Devotion weighs less. Colt doesn't list the weight on the website, and we got to penalize them for that. You know, give them a little slap on the wrist. Colt, list it on your website so that we can give our people good, accurate information. They both come in one size option. The Kink Switch is 20.75. The Devotion is a 21 inch bike. The Devotion has three different color options. The Kink Switch only has one. Both of these bikes are made by core BMX brands who do a lot for the sport, but the Kink Switch is more street specific and it's gonna get a utility point here for street. They both have full Kermali frames, full Kermali forks, full Kermali bars, and double wall rims. The difference here is the Kink Switch has five aftermarket parts where the Devotion only has four. The quality score of both these bikes is the same. Now even though these bikes have the same quality score, the Devotion is going to score a better value score. That's because it's about $20 to $30 cheaper than the Kink Switch. They have the same quality but the Devotion is cheaper. This makes it a better value bike. However, that wasn't enough to win for the Colt Devotion. The Kink Switch is still going to win. The Devotion had more color options. It's cheaper. It had a higher value factor score, but that's about it. The Kink Switch is street specific with more aftermarket parts. It's potentially lighter and it's going to be the winner. Now, I will say if Colt had listed the weight and it was actually lighter than the Kink Switch, the Devotion would have won here, but they didn't. And so therefore the kink switch is going to get all the clout in this little, little video and it's going to move on to the next round. The Colt Devotion just couldn't hold it together long enough. Having the weight listed for Colt would have done a lot of good things for this bike overall. The kink switch is going to move on against the Division 4 T's in the final round. Let's see which bike is better. Don't forget about the free bike recommendation that I'll do for you if you request it by clicking right here. That way I can find you three bikes that are absolutely perfect for you. Thanks for watching. Let me know which bikes I should compare next. Have a good rest of your day.